variables. Well, and that's a part of, part of the problem with measurement is it is a huge commitment and it's time consuming and, and most measurements that are meaningful have some intrusive quality. I mean, you could gate counts or not, but they, even that's intrusive. I mean, you know, any any kind of measurement. So sure. it's got to be something that's planned and and done on a kind of a regular basis, but not. A, it, it's something that that needs to be well thought out so that you're not getting survey fatigue of everybody. Sure. And and that's one reason why we have all of these teams and people right. spread out all over. Spread and people out. at the University of Tennessee, you know, they're they're. They're my guinea pigs, and they, they've been very good, but <laughs> there's a limit of how many times you can, can survey the same population. Yeah, I, like, I like the fact that you've chosen a wide variety yeah. of institutions because, you know, the University of Tennessee is not like Bowdoin College, is not like Western Kentucky, is not like yeah. Northwestern. You know, they're all different in, That's in right. how they interact with their community. Yeah, and University of Illinois is, is interesting because they've, in the past, they've had quite a distributed kind of library model where they've got, you know, like departmental libraries all over the place, mm -hmm. whereas Tennessee is, it has a few departmental libraries, but it's more centralized, and so there's different different models. Have you talked to any people in the administration, not just the, li well, the library administration and even the higher administration, to see, you know, what their reaction to this kind of information is, and is there a chance that you aren't going to receive results that you're looking for. Well, and that's, you know, whenever you measure, that's yeah. something that you've got to be willing to listen. It, yeah. may, it may not be the, the answer you want. Mm -hmm. And it may be, for example, looking at costs. Um, not everybody wants to look at all of the costs because right. they d really don't want to <laughs> yeah. to see which ones. Are, so not every not everybody will look at the cost side of this equation, the cost of benefits. Some will prefer to look at the benefits. Some want, would rather make an assumption that a certain base level of services is is traditional and needs to be there and that we're just looking at additional services which are the best ways that I can 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 do so you've, you've got to be prepared to get get results that may be uh, hard to hear mm -hmm. um, that may be difficult you know your your pet service may be one that's very costly then you have to ask the ask the question is is this benefit, and it, is the benefit outweigh the cost? Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, the benefit to whom? Right. And and sometimes it's priority. Right. You know, if your if your university has priority of um, of uh, science and technology, perhaps you know you, you or or humanities or whatever, you might weigh weigh uh, weigh decisions. But uh, yeah, sometimes you have to. As far as the upper level administration, we have talked to uh, vice chancellors and, and provosts at several, not all of the universities. Um, they've been quite responsive. Um, the, the, I guess the cautionary tale on this and for the libraries involved is this is not a way that you're immediately going to say, you know, give me more money. Right. Mm. You know, I'm a great yeah. bargain, I'm really valuable, therefore I need a bigger budget because, you know, that's not, you know, you know that's, that's not going to happen. The other thing that people uh, would like to see is they would like to see a direct, uh, relationship between if we increase the budget the value will go up this much and we can't say that I mean mm -hmm. that's that's a it would be nice but I don't uh, it, it's difficult if not impossible <laughs> to say to that you can't it's it's hard to draw a, a direct relationship between every every dollar that goes in uh, will it, it will result in an increase of, of X number of dollars in services 